When installing Windows, it gives you a list of disks, disk zero, disk one, etc. You might have loads of them plugged in, but how do you know which one is which? Because you want to ensure that your Windows installation goes on the drive that you want. Usually that is your fastest SSD. But how do I know which one is actually my SSD out of this whole list? Well, let me show you. So firstly, you could look at the total size and you can see this one's around 860 gigabytes. So this is most likely a one terabyte drive. We can see that there's one here that's 14 gigabytes. That's most likely my installation USB. So you obviously don't want to install it there. And if you had additional drives installed on your PC, they might be disk two, disk three, etc., etc. So in my case, I could be pretty sure that this is disk zero, but if I had more than that, how would I be able to tell which drive is which? Well, you need to use the command prompt. So you're gonna press shift and F10. That brings up this black box here, this command prompt. You're gonna type in disk part, and that's disk with a K, then press enter. And then you're going to type list disk. And that's gonna show you all the list of different drives that are connected to your PC. So I've just got the two here, which is SSD and our USB stick. I know that because there's only two of them, but you might have loads of them. So if I want to know what disk zero actually is, I would just type in cell disk zero, is in select disk zero, and then I'll type detail disk. And it tells me here that this is a Kingston drive. They tell me that it's an NVMe type drive. So that gives us a bit more of a narrowing down of which one's which. Then if I wanted to see what the other drives are, I could list disk again to show the list. And I could select disk one, and I could detail that disk. So here you can see that this is a Keoxid Transmemory USB device and it's a USB type drive. So obviously I don't want to install Windows on that, do I? So the disk that we want is disk zero. And from this menu, you can also clean that disk to allow for Windows installation. You probably don't need to do this step if you're installing Windows for the first time, but if you're reinstalling Windows, it could be really helpful. So I'm gonna select disk zero. And if you're a bit paranoid, you can detail disk again to check that you have definitely got the right SSD or the right drive that you're installing Windows onto. Once you're sure it's the right one, you can type clean and this will delete all the data off the drive. And there you go. And then you can just click the X in the corner and then you just need to refresh the installation menu here. And you'll see that now we know that it's disk zero that we want to install on. And we can see that it's all now unallocated space and you have to install Windows onto unallocated space. Otherwise it's gonna be all balked and weird. So from here you just click next and you can finish installing Windows, easy. So if you enjoyed this PC quick tip, ask more questions down in the comments where I can help you and then subscribe for more content.